<laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna make a giant Newton's cradle. This is, you've probably seen small ones like this. This one's broken, but you get the idea. It's uh, basically, this ball goes, hits into a row of other ones, and then this ball leaves the other way. There's sort of a conservation of energy and momentum. Uh, they need to be touching pretty much when it starts. So I'm going to make a huge one. Uh, this one's going to be with bowling balls. And I'm going to use five bowling balls. I'm using these 4x4 four four beams as, as support legs. So I'll have four 4x4 four four beams going across. I'll have two 4x4 four four beams going across holding the ropes. And then I'll have some 2 by 4 supporting the sides. Put this eye, uh, this uh, lag screw eye into the uh, bowling ball, and I use. Let's see if I grab it. So I use this masonry bit here that I used to uh, drill into cement. So I drilled down into the bowling ball with this, so that I could put that in there. It's, it's really snug in there, so it's nice. These are the eye, um, the eye screws that I use along the beams. Uh, I, I space them out as close to the diameter of the bowling ball as possible, although I like to leave about, uh, subtract about an eighth of an inch off the diameter of the bowling ball, just because I want to make sure that as these uh, bowling balls are hanging, that they're actually in contact with each other. You don't want to even have like even a tiny space between them because by them touching it transfers that that energy and momentum better to the, to the ball on the outside. So I'm putting in these rope cleats. I'm going to attach them right here and I'll explain this later, but it's going to be used to calibrate as I pull the ropes up and I get the balls totally lined up, it'll make it so I can calibrate and then tie the rope off to the side. It makes it a lot easier than just having to retie knots all the time. Here you can see me stringing ropes through the eye screws on the cross beams and suspending the bowling balls. I use the rope cleats to elevate the balls to the right level so that they are all in line and all the right height. This is critical for conservation of momentum and energy in this apparatus. So this is the biggest Newton's cradle I've ever seen. I made it out of bowling balls and it works. Watch this. Boom. <laughs> Hehehehe <laughs>